YouTube, my name is Sensei Roger. I'm doing a simple video on basic Kempo. We're going to take the technique Chinese sword. We're going to do it and do a few variations off of it. Uh, this year we were just working in my studio about get good at the beginnings. If you get good at the beginnings, then you don't have to worry about getting hit as much. Or you know, you want to stop the threat. So he throws the right punch, I want to get out of the way. So we're going to do it slow here. The punch is coming at you. I know a lot of people pick out in this scripted stuff where it's like coming out, holding on. I know that's not real, but this is a good way to practice getting out of the way. Then you can start doing real time as you get used to that. So as the punch is here, I'm stepping out of the way. So you're not in the line of the punch, and then I throw the inward block, there's the chop, there's your Chinese sword. So we're gonna change the angle straight here, throw the punch. There's, I see how I can get my cover hand here. Because now I'll throw the other hand, I can tap it off if he goes punches. See, he went to punch my shoulder for some reason. <laughs> but punch me in the head. See, I can tap it off here, I can move my head. But all actuality, throw the punch. If I chop him in the neck, that could be lights out. It could be done, over. But for some reason, this might come in today. Here's the great thing about the Chinese sword, too. Just throw the two punches, throw the other punch. I could bring this here instead of here if I don't react quick enough to the chop and have my cover in hand. If my hand's down here for some reason, I still got that blocked out there. But the idea is you can hold the punch out here. See, the punch is right in the line of me. I'm going to step on the side of it, and the punch is still here. I'm going to turn it this way. So from here, He's got it here. Hold it right in my face here, and then I step out of the way. That's what we're really doing, is getting out of the way of that punch. Now let's go back over here. Now we're gonna do a variation off of this. Throw the punch, see I get my cover hand, I grab. So it's just like beating drums, or dusting off his gi here. Throw the punch, one, two, now there's my chop. I can slam it through, or I can just slap it, and then come down to a hammer fist. Let's do it again, throw the punch, block, grab, chop. Now, this is the variation I'm going to go with. I slice through, I twist his wrist away from him so his elbow is exposed right underneath, hitting underneath the elbow. So if I hit this way, it's not going to do much. I mean, it might leave a bruise, but here, it's probably going to break his elbow. Well, not probably. It will definitely break his elbow if I hit it right. Throw a punch, block, chop, twist it, break. Now from that variation, hammer fist. Just throw the punch, block, grab, chop, break. Hammer fist. The other variation we're going to do here, throw a punch, I put this in my Kempo Jiu-Jitsu system. Now from here I'm slamming it through. I'm coming up underneath and doing a shoulder throw from Jiu-Jitsu and Judo. Coming in here, I got this here, here, drop my hips, I got the throw. So throw the punch, and I can throw. I'm being nice, because I just want to throw the basics. A lot of times you watch videos, guys are showing off and doing all this and all your movie stuff. I mean, real, realistically, the punch is coming at you, it's not going to be the perfect, the picture perfect technique. But get out of the way and hit. Just keep it simple. You don't have to play games and go on tempo and flashing around. Put it out from here through the punch. Block, grab, chop, kick to the crotch. See, I get hit here or bust the knee out right here. Kempo is very uh, popular for low kicks. I know sometimes you see us kicking up in here. I've been told before on some of the videos when I kick to the ribs, saying, oh, I've done Kempo and we never kicked the ribs. Well, that's bull crap because I've done Kempo for 25 years and in this Tracy system, we do have kicks to kick here. There's not many, but it does happen. You know, but this is where it really mainly is, is below the belt to the knees and all that. So there's a couple of variations on Chinese sword.